How are we going to start? What are you about? The things to think about. All right, I'm going to start in my little split. I'm going to start like this. All right. Hello. This is our first Bars and Bells workout. This is born out of months of talking about it. Years. Years of talking about it. And me saying this weekend that I did not want to do the same thing. Uh, typically what we do on a weekend is we would go drink beer, write down our dreams in this purple book, and talk about how we're actually going to do a Bars and Bells or online YouTube video. And then the week happens and we never do. So this is a representation of trying and just doing it and seeing what's up. Number one. Episode one, I also was going to use my fingers and I said our goal, my goal, is to like run out of digits on my hands, our hands. Let's try to 10. Let's try to commit to 10 sessions. So we'll kind of like count it's up and count hands. down. Yeah. And then we'll go from there. But this is our split. We can talk about that later. Well, technically this is Do you know we're matchy matchy? I know. I I thought we this is our split. Just I right. thought we coordinated to the You said you were wearing gray and blue. So why more blue and black? Okay, well this is how I would build my split to get toward Lauren's split. Just like the Backstreet Boys. Okay, focus. You weren't. Okay, so there's other two big things we're going to talk about if we're components, talking about our bars and bells, and that's going to be our core holds. Our hip bridge, which Lauren will demonstrate, and then a hollow hold, which then I'll demonstrate and Lauren will help you. So in our hip bridge, our hip extension, I'll just kind of get out to the side, because it doesn't matter about me. But I do have a I have a club, well, and I also cool. hope to share these clubs with you too. So in our hip extension, Lauren's going to have very, very light tension in one of her feet. She might even pick it up, just gently pick up a foot. So then with her back foot here, she's going to slowly push through the floor from the toe, but her toes are up, so she's going to pull those down, her heel, and I hope that she's starting to feel the bum cheek. So if you're following along at home for 10 seconds, Push a foot through the floor. What do you feel? Hopefully you feel core activation and a bum cheek. Two, one, relax. Then gently switch and do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to turn her for not having her toes down. They're down. They're burnt. So toes down. Root them. Root them for two more seconds, one more second, and then relax. So do that as a single legged exercise. Check in with that single leg exercise. Can you get tension through that glute? So now we're going to do that together, and by driving the heels through the floor, her bum might start to slowly come up the floor into our back plank, our hip bridge, our core foundation movement from the back, tightening glutes, bracing core. We might hold that for 10 to 15 seconds, and then slowly come down for this round, just beautiful, nice up, nice slow. Okay? That was a really good example of our bridge. You can do that in yoga or in any other exercise practice. Do it for back health, do it for core strength. Lauren's going to do it one more time and just drive home the part that we would like to uh, enforce and share with you is to drive the heels, extend the glutes, crack those abs, and then Lauren is going to be very patient and roll down her spine here, and then 1% lift your bum up, and then roll down the spine one more vertebrae, and then lift your front. And just super slow, find those places, those joint segments of the spine that are just asking for a little bit more strength. And they'll tell it to you by a little bit more of a shake. If it shakes, it's kind of saying, hey, help me out. Fill me in with some space. Okay? So that'll be an example of our hip bridge, which will be a nice foundational skill working through our bars practice and into our bells. So now, the baton will turn towards Lauren, and I will quickly demonstrate our hollow hold. Sorry on my back. So lying on your back, supine on your spine. Start with hands, palms face up, heads resting for now, back straight to the floor. What's he gonna do? So abs are braced, you're breathing as you go through this, slowly keeping that tension. Could you start reaching away from your body? So legs start to reach away, nice. Only as low as you can hold, so that this low back here, move your hand model, this low back stays tight to the floor, okay? Tight, 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 breathe. Now, if you want to be good at handstands, don't be a floppy fish, no trouters here. Good, I'll use all one unit. As well, if he wants to advance, 
he pulls his head and chest up off the floor from his abs, not from his neck. And he's still breathing, and because he can't count, we'll make him not count for five, four, three, two, and then safe landing. Great job, Ian. That's your hollow hold. Help me out. Brought to you by the bananas. Help me out. I have a back. I know. Help me out. <laughs> okay, so those are our two core foundational movements. Next, we're going to talk about our feet. The positions we'll explore in our bars practice are inspired by our ballet. We will work in parallel, so maybe let's just regress that to work in parallel. That's an important position. Parallel. Then our first position is going to be slightly turned out. It's an old time strong man's stance a lot of times too. Ribs are under, sorry, ribs under, hips tucked under as well. Avoiding that banana that Lauren talked about, kind of anti-banana in this one. And then the other position will be our second position, or our ground position. And today, in our second component of the practice, we'll talk about our squat. Okay? So this is our second position, our first position, and then our parallel position. For today, if it's a little bit of fun, pick one of those positions and try to balance. I'm going to start in my first. Oh, it's easy. Okay? Not easy. Like Nothing high rises here? High rises. High rises. High rises. So as a nice test. Could you go up on two feet? Squeeze your bum. Core, my same core, we're talking around the floor, Lauren's hip extension from the floor. Now take 10 seconds to slowly lower your heels. Nine, eight, seven, and Lauren's right, I can't count. Three, and two, and then down. Okay, let's do that again. Same thing, slowly up, balance. Now can you transfer your weight to one leg? I'm transferring mine towards this left leg of mine right here. And I'm gonna try to hold that Ooh, for like five more seconds. Okay. Five more seconds. And then nice and slow down. Ooh, have a sloppy. Slow so down with my heel? Slow down with that heel. That was a little sloppy, so I'll have something to work on next time. Lauren's doing her porter bra, that's cool too. So here I am again, same thing. Last time today, up. I gotta do that nice little weight transfer. Really up, man. But this could be a coup de pied position with my foot. Try not to lose any height when I lift my foot. There we go, holding some time. So again, I found my strong ankle for today, or my stronger ankle, and then 10 seconds down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, back. And a little bit of a shake, okay? Two more drills we're gonna talk about in regards to our bars performance today, or bars section of our workout. Yeah, stay loose, stay loose, yeah. stay loose. Is our hip bar inspired through the hip car from FRC principles? Our hip bar is done with a straight leg, with a, both a plantar flexed foot and then our dorsal flexed foot. And we'll do our point first and our flex second. So we want to find your bar. And by the way, this is my side of the room because that's her side of the room. That's her side of the room, which by default makes us mine. So we work in parallel to start, and we're going to get into this tendu or a point away from the body. Lauren lights her hand on the hip. Hand out to the side is appropriate too. From here, we're going to draw a circle around the body, touching the floor the entire way, and just nice and slow to the back. You can still face forward, but then here we are bringing that back to underneath the hip. Same thing, other side. We're going to extend to the hip and then open up away from the body, drawing a semicircle, and then down and together. And then one more time, we're going to go out through that point. Oops, pull the foot off the floor. Oops. And then nice and slow, draw a circle around the body, keeping the hips nice and level. Is your straight knee I straight? Think I'm praying to God my knee is straight. This and we're bringing it underneath. And the final time in the back, an extension. Make sure we're not dumping, so we're nice and tall. And then nice and slow. Move around, and I love that my leg could be more flexible than the architecture of this studio. There we go, and then down. Okay, and then really quick, just gonna even it out, same thing on the other side. You face which way you want. Here we go, out to the front. Oh, I don't want everyone to only see the back. Out to the side. So we'll just do it over here. And in, and then around and the back. Using the foot, using the foot. Any hand position is good, and then one more time. Point. No, flex. Flex. And I'm going to 
to try to reach Oriel here without hiking my hip and I'm reaching out of that hip socket as you reach around to the back and then pulling forward with my hip flexor and then one more time to the back open up which is knee straight felt it and I'm going to try to reach towards Lauren and then forward and then down okay cool so we're going to shake that out and unfortunately I have to go off camera here. See ya. Oh hey. So if that if that is our Are you gonna use this? Are you gonna get your own? To press? Yeah, I've done it before. I have done it before. So you can do it on demand here? Yep. So I tend to excel if I may at this little ballet practice, but Lauren's the real strength here. So we are gonna take some strength tips from Lauren. This is an example of a press, and I'm going to do about three, probably here. We'll talk about our presses, and then next time we get together. This is our press. One. Just making sure. Two. Three. Yeah, I said three, so be happy with three. And when you do that one side, you want to try to even out and do the other. So here I go. Hike pass <laughs> into my rack. One, two, three. Rack Pull it to the floor down. and then just switch up forward. Pull it to the So I'm shake that out. All right. Just gotta get my hair just right. Get those conditions right. The next time, that's one of our bell skills. Lastly, this one where everyone wants a bicep curl. Get a bicep curl. Three reps of a bicep curl, and we gotta go. Check it out. So we'll squat around. <laughs> bicep curl and a hug. And then again, and then she's gonna stand up for her squat this time. And then one more. And yeah. Oh. Sure, she's making it tougher. There we go. Good. And then down. This is Lauren. I'm Ian. Together we're Bars and Bells. We hope to cheer uh, to see you again. We need a new move. Next rendition, and we'll work on our moves. We'll work on our moves. Yeah. Don't even try. I'm the bar. Yeah. I'm the bell. You're the bell. You're the bell. You don't need to do that. <laughs> Thank you.